Hey guys, Kevin here. So, I know everyone's kind of stuck at home and people are putting out all kinds of YouTube videos of, you know, funny stuff, silly stuff, uh, this is what we're doing. I uh, can't do anything for tourism, so I figured maybe today we would do something along the lines of a little educational video on cleaning, disinfecting. So what I have is I do have um, this Lysol, which I know is on the EPA site for uh, killing the coronavirus. And I know that the, uh, the dwell time is two minutes, so we can um, show you this cleaning and... Uh, kind of the proper way. I don't think a lot of people realize that there is a right and wrong way to use a disinfectant. So let's get started. So one of the more, one of the proper ways to do it is you need to focus on what's called dwell time. And every disinfectant will have instructions on how long it takes to kill and what that means is how long the surface needs to stay wet with the solution in order for it to properly kill whatever the organism is. I believe for the Lysol it is a two minute dwell time which means the surface needs to stay wet for two minutes. Two. Two minutes. So let's go through what most people do when they think of cleaning and disinfecting versus the right way. Okay, so maybe a little hard to see. My timer is set for two minutes. We're going to set that right there. Now, this is what most people will do when it comes to cleaning Give it a spray, and then they'll wipe. We're going to start the timer. We're going to see how long this takes to dry. Alright, so as you can see, it's been less than a minute. And this is dry. There's a little spot right here where it's still, still a little wet. So this is not disinfected. Here's the proper procedure. Wait, let me cancel this. Timer's still at two minutes. I'm just going to move my phone so I don't spray it. Okay. Now, we let that sit. We start the timer. Two minutes. see surface is for the most part about 99% still wet at this point you can go ahead wipe let dry and that is going to be disinfected okay so that is using this Lysol brand which has a two minute dwell time and says right on the back of it to disinfect Leave for two minutes before wiping. Rinse all food contact surfaces with water after use. Does not harm, blah, blah, blah. You want to pre-clean. And if you're going to sanitize, then it's 10 seconds. But for the coronavirus thing that, you know, we're looking for, actually for anything that you want to, you want to um, sanitize, then that's a, that's a two-minute dwell time. So I'm going to link in the description down below the... Uh, 
website, the EPA's list, and what it has is um, the video that um, I'll link down below as well shows you where to find the EPA registration number. When you go to the EPA's that site, you enter the registration number that you will find on the back of these cleaners. Um, so this one has an EPA registration number of 777 dash. Six six. That is listed on the EPA site as killing the coronavirus, and a lot of others. Two minute dwell time. So there are other chemicals out there where it's a thirty second dwell time. You wet it thirty seconds later, you come back and then you can clean it, or you can just let it dry. If it's nothing that you're you know, door handle, doorknob, spray them, let them dry. You'll be perfectly fine. So safety first. And make sure you're actually reading the instructions. And a note about bleach. Bleach is a horrible disinfectant. It is, I'll have to double check this, but I believe it is a 10 minute dwell time. Which means, so you saw what we did right on the countertop where it, it needed to stay wet for um, two minutes. With bleach, it's a 10 minute dwell time, which means... You're going to need to spray whatever surface you're disinfecting and let the bleach sit or let that solution sit there for 10 minutes before you can wipe it. 90% of the time that is going to dry before the 10 minutes is, is up. So bleach is, is really not that good of a uh, disinfectant. It smells clean. Everybody associates that smell of bleach with being clean, but it's, it's really not so just be aware of that. Um, all right, so if you found any value in this, uh, please go ahead and give me a good old thumbs up and uh, continue subscribing for any future videos. And if I can think of anything else that's educational, I'll go ahead and uh, make some videos of that. Um, I do have some from a trip we took to Florida. I'll throw those up as well. But uh, I'm going to try to get some educational stuff out here over the next few weeks to try and help everybody with uh, cleaning, sanitizing, disinfecting, all of that stuff. So, all right. Have a great day, guys.